Welcome to another Scardcast Battle Report. The first turn has already been played. We're playing a custom mission for the Michael Mudd Memorial Tournament. There are six objectives. One here, one at the back of that building, one over here, one on the top of that building, one at the bottom of that building, one beside the statue. They all have a different rule. This one, for example, gives you Skyfire. Uh, that one, I don't remember what it does. That one, I don't remember what it does. Uh, plus two to deny. Uh, plus two to deny the witch. Uh, that one back there gives you plus one, uh, re-rolling ones to hit when shooting. That one gives you interceptor. That one gives plus one, that gives you stealth. This is, uh, <clears throat> feel no pain. Feel no pain, five plus for anybody to buy that, which is kind of cool. Only troops can take advantage of them. Uh, first turn, four demon prints, so three demon princes and fate weaver have moved up. There's some plague wearers in the back. Lots of powers went off, no shooting happened, and uh, Nurgle pooped on Urien's radar and put a hull point on it. Other than that, <clears throat> that's it. That's it, really. We're moving on to Dark Eldar, uh, turn one, and it, it was night fight turn one, well, it is night fight turn one, but we have the Heldrake, Unicultists, Cultists, and the Plague Wearers in reserve, they are deep striking. Other than that, in the Dark Eldar reserves, we have a Razor Wing, so make sure you stay tuned for this battle. I moved around, Urien boosted up into into the middle there. Um, all my shooting actually finally grounded one Zinch Prince. He passed four grounding tests, re-rolled one. I put, uh, he's got two wounds left. Uh, the rest of my army's kind of moved up on this flank, uh, moved up around the objective, uh, boosted that Venom to this flank over there as well. Other than that, uh, we're moving on to Demon's turn two, where we have reserves to come in first. Okay, so the Plague Bearers. Plague Bearers do not show up. Uh, the Heldrake. Heldrake yes. shows up. And the Cultists. Cultists. Yes. Show up. Okay, so the Plague Bearers don't show up, but the Heldrake and the Cultists do indeed show up. The Heldrake came on, Vector struck Urien's Raider, and then blew them out while the super cool, instant deathy Super Demon Prince walked in and chopped Urien Raukarth in two, but they held because they're fearless because of pain tokens, and I'm hoping that he'll kill them all in his round of combat so that so that then, so they hold in my turn because I have the aberration, then he'll kill them all in, in his turn. So it's not going to be a while till he comes out. Other than that, uh, Fate Weaver tried to do two different powers to this Venom, and I denied the witch both times while the Demon Prince that's now gliding failed to jump on. He failed the Grimoire on him, so he's only got a six up in ball. Other than that, uh, everything else is fine. The Warp Storm table was kind of cool, but nothing really happened. And we're going to have to test to see if these guys have Soul Blaze still on them. And they do oh. not. It uh, goes out, which is nice, because I hate Soul Blaze. And <laughs> now we're moving on to reserves. Does the Dark Eldar Razorwing show up in the face of a Heldrake? And he does. The Razorwing showed up, blasted uh, five cultists off the board, and uh, five of them fell away, but they just fell short of the table edge. Uh, the Demon Prince, one I challenged with the Aberration, targeting him, he killed the Aberration, and two Grotesques are now going to die in his turn, hopefully, so then I can shoot him next turn. Um, I did one hull point on the Heldrake with the Sky Firing Blaster Lance, and four Venoms, so that's 12, 24, uh, 36, 48, 60 poison shots. Later, I put one wound on that Demon Prince, and I got first blood for killing the three demonettes that had come out of the portoglyph, but I failed to kill the portoglyph itself. So now we're rolling to see if the plague bearers show up, and they do. So we had this demon prince come back from reserve, and he tried to flick and fire this uh, venom, and uh, he failed to cast psychic like powers. Uh, Fate Weaver also failed to cast precognizance on himself, so he flew off the table. He was right in the corner there. Other than that, this demon prince finally killed both grotesques. Uh, the Grimoire, I mean the Portal Rift did nothing, and the Cultist uh, re-rallied and moved up. <clears throat> we had the Plague Bearers Deep Strike in a central position, um, ready to get liquefied by two Talos. One there and one in the building. And we have the Heldrake that has moved up and used his Demon Forge to murder the last of the four troop units that were right by that objective. As well as this Demon Prince tried to Vector Strike that Venom and failed. So other than that, we have uh, Dark Eldar turn 3 going on with Fate Viewer off the board. And basically everything else is committed. This Venom and this Venom ended up taking out the Teenage Demon Prince that was wounded. While this Venom ended up putting a wound on 
or two wounds on that Demon Prince combined with this Venom of the Trueborn that moved up. The Razor Wing uh, put two penetrating hits on the Heldrake, but thanks to the 4 plus and vulnerable save, thanks to the um, Warp Storm table, uh, the Heldrake is fine, and the Trueborn got out to try and shoot it as well, and they failed to hit. So now, um, Fate Weaver's coming back on. I did kill all the cultists, and my two tailors uh, have charged in here and are now targeting that Plague Bearer unit as well. We had uh, Fate Weaver come on the board of Vector Strike, that Raider, uh, wreck it with three glances, and then shoot five, four guys out of that unit. Uh, they fell back after getting shot at, and their female pain was not improved. Uh, the Demon Prince with the Bale Sword charged into the Talos and killed one Talos, the other one took a wound from the Plague Bearers, and is probably going to die next turn. The other Demon Prince, Vector Strike, the three Blastborn killed them as it flew off the table, as well as the Heldrake that also flew off the table. I fired a lot of Venom Fire and grounded a Fate Weaver, put four wounds on him, he's one wound left, so he's still alive. Um, other than that, the Demon Prince finally de destroyed the other Tailors with an instant death Bale Sword and broke the Plague Bearers out of combat. Now the Heldrake's coming back in, and my Rax, of course, have actually uh, charged into the Plague Bearers holding this objective in the backfield and killed two, losing three to their number. There's four Plague Bearers left, two, seven Rax left. And uh, now the uh, Demon Sword uh, Black, Mace. Black Mace guy with one wound on him. Uh, is coming in. An eventful chaos turn five. The Heldrake came on. Uh, Vector struck some of the warriors who then got killed by Fate Weaver. Um, that Demon Prince got a wound back from it will not die. It's back to full wounds. The Plague Bearers are just sitting within three inches of the objective. Uh, my um, my Rax killed the final Plague Bearers and the Demon Prince is sitting over there with two wounds. Uh, Corn Skulls didn't really do anything. Other than that, Fate Weaver just kind of moved back there to s escape retaliation, well, to try and escape retaliation from all the Venoms because he only has one wound left. We had the Witches move on to that objective. The uh, Rax moved around to prevent the Demon Prince from charging because the Demon Prince won't fit on the floors. And then we have that Demon Prince there. I shot a Fate Weaver, did one wound, but he passed his safe. Uh, the Raze Wing came on and put one penetrating hit that immobilized and ve uh, well, ve lock, lock velocity the Heldrick. Other than that, we're going to see if the game continues. And Jason will roll on a 3 plus. The game goes on. And the game goes on. We had uh, the Gliding Demon Prince come over and fail the charge against the Witches, who got Vexor striked by the um, Velocity Locked uh, Heldrake. 15 Demonettes, the maximum you can get, showed out of the no warp. Out of nowhere, thanks to the Warp Storm table, thanks to Fate Weaver's reroll, because Fate Weaver's a boss. He did kill the Trueborn Venom, but the Trueborn are fine, and he's gliding as well, so they're, they're going to try to take him out. He's got one wound left. And then we have this guy over here. All right. Um, it will not die. It will not die on Fate Weaver. is successful, so he's got two wounds left. And this guy... And this guy's already full this wounds. And, uh... Yeah, yeah. No. Nope, he does not. Okay. Had the witches uh, pile out here, got the racks in there as a contingency plan for this objective over here. The demonettes have just kind of stayed there. I killed Fate Weaver finally, and then the Trueborn actually knocked two wounds off of the two plus armor Demon Prince in a fate of crazy rolls. The uh, double snake guys does not help. Um, other than that, uh, the Heldrake's still off board. We'll see if it goes on to turn seven on a four plus. And it doesn't. It is game over. Remember, this is a battle point mission. So even though one person gets more battle points than the other, points are still available to both sides no matter what. Okay, we'll be back when we tally up the points. Jason, that's been a fantastic game. Thank you so much. And of course, it was streamed live, actually, on Scardcast TV Episode 2. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Bye-bye. Well, welcome to another Tactical Corner. My army is the same. His army? four big demon princes and Heldrake. I could not um, deal with him. He deployed far back, so I counter deployed by deploying further away than he could shoot me, turn one, which is important because he had to move into the range of my guns from the beginning, even though he had deployed in a very defensive position. Now, of course, I moved Urien up as a suicide mission. He ended up dying, but I was able to actually start flanking him off to the side. And uh, even though he was able to quickly and easily deal with Urien, I tarpeted one of his key units, because you know, each one of those demon princes are like 250 to 300 points. Once uh, his uh, little um, troop 
unit maker was made out, I was able to gather first blood by killing some demonettes. I focused as much fire as I could at one demon prince at a time, but he kept on flying them off the board and on the board and off the board. And um, <clears throat> and the biggest um, tactical blunder I made personally was um, a couple of times where I forgot to check line of sight for some of my venoms, which uh, could have helped me in the long run. And also, uh, you know, a couple of key roles like not destroying the Helldrake with two penetrating hits and, you know, the, the, the dice weren't really like a big factor this game and it was all about maneuvering. Eventually I was able to get a raider full of racks all the way to his objective, which was key because that was a three-point objective. Now, right at the end of the game, he did get a bunch of troops for free, but that was unable to bring him back. I had uh, created enough of a solid lead that he was unable to come back from it and I did end up killing Fateweaver. The Trueborn were once again MVP.